Hi guys and welcome to this what we eat and how we train. Mike and I both usually have breakfast at around 10 to 11 a.m. because we like to get some work done before eating. I used to eat straight after waking up when I was younger but eating this early just makes me feel sick now. So I usually have a decaf coffee in the morning and then I wait for my breakfast for a little while. This day I made us rice pudding using instant rice powder. I added some vegan protein and almond milk and then brought it to a boil. Don't leave it on the soap top for too long just until it slightly boils and then take it off because then the consistency will be perfect. Toppings are the most essential part here because that's what adds the real flavor. I added banana, coconut yogurt, strawberries, granola for some crunch and the protein spread. It was honestly so, so delicious. It's one of my favorite breakfasts right now. After breakfast, I left for the University of Vienna, which I barely ever do, especially to the real university because my classes are always on a different and way less cool campus. I met with two other students to discuss our group project. Our topic is body image, which is actually quite interesting. Um, we got it done pretty quickly and then I made my way to the gym to meet up with Mike there. For this day's workout, Isabel joined me on my back and shoulder session. After a quick warm up, I started with wide grip pull ups. Here I'm focusing on the best stretch. I find that a bit wider than shoulder width offers the best leg stretch without letting go of the scapular retraction. Isabel did a narrow grip instead because it would be too hard for her otherwise. We both did three sets of as many reps as possible. For the next exercise, I did cable pull downs with the narrow reverse grip attachments, while Isabel now used the wide grip. This exercise not only targets the lat, but also involves bicep and middle back muscles. Here we also did 3 sets of around 12 to 15 reps. Next up, we did low rows with the deepest possible grip with a focus on the stretch. This way, we could lift significantly less weight but still achieve the greatest leg activation. Again, we did 3 sets of 12 to 15 reps. For the rear delts with the face pulls, 3 sets of 15 reps, we pulled back above eye level to focus on our rotator cuffs and after the muscle had given up, we finished the set at shoulder height to completely exhaust our rear delts. The rest of the shoulder workout consisted of dumbbell shoulder press and machine lateral raises. Most of you probably already know that I'm rather insecure about my upper body, especially my shoulders and back are quite developed I'd say. I sometimes feel like I look too muscular and too bulky and when I look at myself in the mirror I often hate what I see. That's why I mostly wear pump covers or shirts so I don't have to see my bulky self every time I pass a mirror. When I see other girls in the gym or on Instagram who are equally if not more muscular than me I always think how gorgeous they are. Like they look amazing. They look so so good. So why does it not look good on me? And here's where I'm wrong. The problem is in my upper body. It's the way I see myself and that's what I have to work. I need to stop comparing. I will never look like anyone else other than me. Muscles are beautiful and more importantly working out is fun. Right now I have one push and one pull day per week aiming for high reps and not trying to increase the weights. I'd like to still turn up my upper body but I don't want to grow there anymore. Also it is healthy and important to have a balanced workout split and I love my current workout routine. After the gym we both had a wrap and then afterwards a yogurt bowl with a third and a protein wafer. It's funny that Mike and I eat about the same amount of food right now. He is currently cutting and I'm bulking but it's still funny because he is so much bigger than me. It is 8 p.m. right now and 
Mike and I just finished working and I'm not gonna make us some dinner. So for me, I will be making protein pizza with unflavored pea protein and some wholemeal wheat flour. And I'm just gonna top it with veggies, I think. And for Mike, I'm not gonna cook anything because he will just have, oopsie. This here, which my mum cooked and prepped for him, is just some kind of meal prep. It's, I honestly don't know. Rice and some kind of meat. So he's just gonna have this and I'll cook the pizza for me. I am absolutely dead. Just wanna go to bed, watch the series and fall asleep. But we have to get our calories in. I'm going to have my knead the dough for me now because I don't want to get the one underneath my nails because that's gross. Sorry. Mike is kneading the dough for me. I didn't have any tomato puree so I just put some hummus on the bottom, topped it with some vegan minced meat that I got here and the frozen veggie mix and a little bit of vegan cheese. And now that's gonna go into the oven. Also something that I have every evening with my dinner is some vegan clear and creatine. From my protein I really like this flavour, it's apple and elderflower and I also really like the coke flavour. They're my favourites. And we're just gonna add like one scoop. One scoop of the clear and one scoop of the creatine. The colder the water, the better the string. It's like protein lemonade. Would you mind please not sipping from my coffee? I just came back from picking up pistachio croissants because I am meeting a friend later today and I promised her some pistachio croissants because she's never had them. And she's helping me cut off my pants, the pants that I showed you in the last vlog. Could you be quiet please? Please, thank you. She's helping me cut off the pants that I showed you in the last vlog. Okay, so it's a little bit after eight right now. I just listened to this podcast is from your mum Ashley and her sister um but yeah I really like her so I just listened to their first episode but anyways it's just after 8am right now and the new Define collection has just launched so I'm so excited I can finally order I've been wanting to order straight when the drop came out because it's Hannah's collection and I'm pretty sure it will be sold out quite soon there are four new colors I will pop them up somewhere on the screen they have four new colors they have a backless new t-shirt which is so effing cute and the colors are also amazing so we've got four new colors we've got sand dune crystal sea coral reef and marine green and we have twisted sports brass we have shorts and we have leggings so I'm just gonna order my things and then maybe in the next vlog I can do a little haul and show you how it looks on me but if I were you and if you like this collection I'd definitely check it out now because I'm pretty sure it will sell out rather quickly because this collection is fire it's so freaking cute I've been wanting to check out this elevator coffee for quite a while now um, they have elevator booths in which you can sit and the whole coffee shop is decorated like an old fancy hotel 
At first both elevator booths were occupied but then we got a spot and it was really cute. Mike and I shared a matcha latte because I wanted to give matcha another try but I just can't do it. It just tastes like sweetened grass. It really I couldn't drink more than just two sips so Mike had to drink most of it even though he didn't really like it either. Um, but yeah the carrot cake was really good. The brownie was really dry so overall it was a very cute and creative coffee shop but the food I would give like a 5 out of 10. And that was it for the video. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next week. Bye!